Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday of Go Go Week. One of my favorite weeks of the year, especially November. I feel like November historically has some really good BOGOs. I feel like it's, I don't know. I don't know why it is. Maybe they do it on purpose because it's, you know, holiday season and Black Friday and all that stuff. Or maybe I just feel like it's usually better this time of year. But for some reason, I like November BOGOs. They always seem to be fantastic. And of course, this year, they're starting us off with a doozy on guard and breathe. People, it doesn't get a harvest spice. It does smell good. I agree. Um, they, hi, Heather. Hello. Um, they started us off with a doozy, an awesome one, right? So on guard and breathe. Holy moly, people. Talk about two oils that are absolute staples for your home during the cold and flu season, during this icky winter time of year when, um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like every time I turn around, somebody is telling me about how their kid is sick and their kid is sick again, and then their other kid got sick, and then now their whole family's sick, and then it just keeps... Okay, yep, there you go. My fourth grader, two of her, te her teacher has two kids that were sick today. So uh, it's that time of year, right? So what a better way to start off this BOGO week with two of the greatest oils to use for this. And actually, if you guys can give me one second, I'm going to pull something up on my phone so that I don't say anything wrong. Okay, there we go. Awesome. All right, so um, let's start off with On Guard. So for those of you who have been, um, who are in our members-only group, no, it's been in this group. Gosh, I can't remember anymore. Okay, so we've been talking about On Guard a lot lately, right? It gets talked about a lot this time of year. Pardon the distractions in the background. My kids are, oh, maybe it's out of water. That could be why. Double check it. Um, anyway, on guard. You, if you have people who live in your house, if you have people who live in your house, I think you all have people who live in your house, you want on guard. If you have people who live in your house who leave that house every day, who maybe interact with other people, who go to school, who go to work, who do other things, go to the store, do whatever, you want on guard. On guard is a blend of um, orange, cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And these five oils, when you put them together, provide, they just, they work together to provide your body with what it needs to, to generate like a positive immune response. So that when your body does encounter the germs and the illnesses and all that stuff, it knows how to fight it off better. Um, this is probably one of the oils that like that doTERRA is known for and a lot of people that get started with doTERRA and get started with oils do so specifically with this blend because they want it to um, help their families uh, get that immune support that they need during um, this time of year. What do you need baby? It was the first oil I ever put on me. It was the first oil I ever put on you? Mm -hmm. It probably was. You were my sick kid all the time weren't you? Mm -hmm. You would have a cold like every month and what happened after we started using on guard? Come back over here. Come here, tell everybody. Tell everybody what happened when you started using On Guard every day. I was cured. You were not cured. What just happened? You used to get sick all the time, every month, didn't you? You'd always have a new cold, a new cough, a new fever. I did not get sick. You didn't get sick as often, did you? I truly think since we started using these about two years ago, I think you've only been sick like maybe, yeah, almost two years. Isn't that crazy? I think you've only been sick like three times. Let's not tape. Don't put the tape on the table. That ruins it. No, leave that alone. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Sorry. Um, okay, so as we started using this every single day, our family started getting or stopped getting sick as much, and we were well more often. I honest to goodness can probably tell you that we've only had three or four illnesses with the kids that required them to stay home since we've been using this. Maddie, what are you doing? Stop being a photo bomber. Go away. <sighs> Seriously, I apologize. This is the crazy in my household on a regular basis. Okay, how do you use the on guard though, right? That's one thing that people tend to get kind of hesitant about, right? Everybody thinks they, they hear these oils, they, 
They hear about what they're supposed to do. They want to use them, but they don't really feel comfortable knowing how, okay? On guard is one of the easiest things. There's two ways that we like to use it in our household that you can easily, easily do, and it's going to help you, and it's going to help your families right away. The first thing you can see, I have my diffuser running in the background, right? Put it in your diffuser. Three drops, two to three drops. Diffuse it um, around the table that your kids sit at when they come home from school every day and are eating their snack or doing their homework. Or put it in the diffuser that they have by their beds every night and let them um, inhale all those amazing properties of what's in the On Guard blend overnight and help boost their immune system. The way that my family uses it every single day is we just keep it in a roller bottle. So here's just a fabulous little 10 milliliter roller bottle and um, I still have some oils in there right now. What I do when it starts to get low is I take off the top and you can flip it off with your hands or your fingers. I have this handy dandy little oil tool that you just, oops, wrong hand, you stick in there and you get underneath it and you pop it off. I fill it myself about a third with On Guard and then I fill the rest of it up to the top with a fractionated coconut oil. I just have some that I got from Amazon. It was easy, like 13 bucks or something. It comes with a handy dandy pump. You literally take the cap off your own guard, drop, 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 till it's about a third full. Then take this, stick it in, pump, 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 till it's to the top. Put the roller back on. Boom, done. So easy. Now, where do you put this, right? Um, actually, let me back up for a second. I use about a third of essential oil and fill up the rest with coconut oil. You can use more or less depending on what you want. For an adult, half and half is probably about right, but you can do a little bit less if you want to. For younger kids, my kids are 11, um, 9, and 8, so a third of EO is perfectly fine for them. Um, if you have younger kids, especially if you have um, kids ages like maybe 2 to 5, I would say maybe a fourth of essential oil, and then the rest fractionated coconut oil. If you're going to use this on a baby, on somebody younger than 2, I would go even less than that. I would probably say about an eighth. Um, of essential oil. Lizzie, can you please stop sticking tape on the table? I mean it. Stop sticking tape on the table. It's going to ruin the table. My table's already ruined as it is, and my kids make it worse. So that's what I would recommend doing. So once you get this roller bottle, what do you do with it? You put it on. You literally put it on your body. The cool thing about the coconut oil is that's going to help the essential oil to absorb into your skin even better. So, um, what kind of it doesn't sting. That's right. You're exactly right, Elizabeth. Lizzie said it doesn't sting. Sometimes like cinnamon and some other um, essential oils can kind of sting your skin when you put them on. Um, and since On Guard has cinnamon, that's one that might sting a little bit. So when you put the coconut oil in there, it doesn't sting as badly. Actually, it doesn't sting at all, I should say. Um, the other thing, too, is that sometimes when you apply the essential oil like just by itself, um, you might find that it actually kind of like evaporates before it really has a chance to really absorb all the way into your skin. The coconut oil keeps that from happening. It actually helps to draw the essential oil deeper into your skin so that it can actually um, help you even more, even further. Sorry, that wasn't very good English, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, the third thing is it just makes it easier. I mean, it's a lot easier to roll something on than it is to take off a cap and drop some drops and rub it on or whatever. So keep these on hand all the time. I roll it on my kids' spines every night, um, just around their lower back. Then we just lift up their shirt, rub, 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 like roll one, two, three, and then we're done. You can do it on the bottoms of their feet. If you do bottoms of the feet, especially at nighttime, I would rec well, it does tickle, but they can put it on themselves. They can easily roll it themselves, you know, just one, two, three, and be done. I would put socks on after that just to keep it from, like, rubbing off onto their sheets on their bed, and that way, you know, you kind of have a minute or two for it to kind of absorb into the feet. You can put it on the feet in the morning, like, as they get ready for school. Come downstairs with your socks and shoes, roll, roll, roll on your feet, put your socks on, put your shoes on, boom, done, right? Have that immune boost for your whole day. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, seriously, um, diffuse, roll on every day. When someone is ill and they um, actually did get a cold, because, you know, it's not perfect. This isn't going to prevent you from getting sick all the time. Sometimes you're going to get a cold. It's going to be inevitable. Take your on guard. You also are going to want, I didn't bring them with me. I have them in the other room. But take your on guard, add in lemon, frankincense, melaleuca, oregano, those four oils, 10 drops of each. Oh, it's okay, Maddie. You don't have to find them, but thank you. Oh, Maddie's going to find them anyway. Add those along with 10 drops of each. Ah, I'll take it back. I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll put the rest of them out here, but add those in. 
and then roll that on the bottoms of the feet every three hours, three to four hours when someone is feeling ill. And that's going to help their body to fight that. Oh, there you go. You found everything except for melaleuca. There we go. She's got all three of those. Add those in with melaleuca and you've got yourself the flume or the bomb, they call it. Oh, there's our melaleuca. There we go. So if any of these go on BOGO this week, pick them up as well. Lemon, oregano, frankincense, and melaleuca. And you, like right, no, it smells like pizza. You will be hungry for pizza after you put it on. Okay, so um, that's On Guard. Next, when you buy On Guard, you get Breathe for free. Except I can't figure out how to put it in front of you guys. Breathe, right? Breathe is another one that we are very well known for. Breathe contains laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom, ra raventsera, and ravensera. So these are all going to be phenomenal for respiratory support. So all it doesn't have to be seasonal respiratory issues. It doesn't have to be only related to when you, someone is getting sick. It can be if you have kids or people in your family that have chronic breathing issues. Um, if you have people maybe that like to snore uh, that sleep next to you at night. This is a great way to help help promote feelings of open airways and open passageways. Um, so that when you are struggling with your respiratory issues, um, it just helps to open everything up. It helps to maybe break down the stuff that's in there that's causing um, that clogginess and that congestion so that um, you can just have an easier time breathing. Ah, that's why it's called breathe, right? Aren't I funny? How do you use breathe? You can use breathe the same way you use on guard. You can diffuse it or you can put it in a roller the same way with some coconut oil and you can roll it on the chest. Um, sometimes too, I don't always keep a roller of breathe around. I don't know why. We just diffuse it. That's our favorite way of doing it. Um, but I will sometimes, since I don't keep a roller, I will just put a few drops. I'll actually put a, a pump of coconut oil in my hand first and then I'll put a drop or two of breathe on and then I'll rub, rub it on my person's chest who is having the problems. In fact, I did it with Lizzie last night and then she giggled up a storm because I was tickling her too much apparently, didn't I? And what did I add to it, Lizzie? I added some serenity, didn't I? When I did it on your chest last night. So I love breathing serenity together. Serenity is the restful blend. This is a great combo to put together at night in your diffuser or in a roller, or like I said, put some coconut oil, add some drops and then rub it on their chest. So this is a great thing to use to help a kid who needs to go to sleep because they want, you know, they need that respiratory support and then they need the restful blend support. So um, I know a lot of people also that will use breathe if you are really big into exercise. Um, let's say you're a runner or you, um, I don't know, I don't exercise as much as I should so I'm really bad about this. But like, let's say you just struggle and like whenever you're going to go work out to really have an easier time breathing. Rub some of this on your chest before you get going to help open everything up and allow you to breathe easier and get a better workout in. Um, they are giving out breathe like it's their job in California right now for all the firefighters and all the people who are going in to deal with these firefighters. They are diffusing this around them like crazy to get, um, again, to open up the passageways and to help those men and women who are um, dealing with the fires um, to breathe a little bit easier and hopefully, you know, have um, less struggles with their breathing. So um, I personally also use breathe a lot because I struggle with a lot of sinus issues. That's my personal battle. Um, I every night will diffuse my breathe along with extra eucalyptus because that really helps me a lot, especially when I've got really bad sinus issues. So extra eucalyptus and I add lime. Lime not only makes it kind of give it a little fun citrusy smell, but lime is good for, again, like the the buildup that you get, the, the mucus, it just helps to, I feel like for me, it helps to thin out um, my mucus issues and that way I can breathe easier. Hey, Carly, are you still cold? Mm -hmm. You're cold? Is that why you're walking around with your heavy coat still on? Seriously. Okay. And it's like 70 degrees in this house right now. I don't know why she's wearing it. Okay. So buy on guard, get breathe free. People, I am really serious. Like this is an awesome, awesome deal. If you... Um, are considering starting oils or you already have oils but you don't have these even if you have these stock up because hello I mean if you use on guard every day you're not only going to boost your immune system but you're just going to keep your whole family healthier this entire season and you are going to be so mad at yourself if you don't get any or you only get one and then um, 
you know, January comes along and you've already run out and then you're going to be like, dude, why did I not get this when it was buy one, get one free. So let's see, hang on. Heather's try putting a drop or two. Oh, at the bottom of the shower. Yes. Thank you. Um, there are some recipes that I'm going to add to our group here in just a little bit too, that I got this afternoon, um, where you can make little, um, shower bombs where you just put some, uh, few easy ingredients that you either have around the house or can pick up cheap at Walmart and you add some breed to them and you can put them in the shower and just open up your passageways when you jump in your shower. Um, and that'd be great for kids too, right? You know, the kids that are struggling with those issues, um, do that in a nice hot steamy shower and loosen all that stuff up. Thank you, Heather. That's an excellent idea. Um, so go get your on guard. If you already have your wholesale account, you can just log into your account and add it into your cart. The breathe will automatically show up in your cart when you go to checkout. Um, if you order this on LRP, you are going to get anywhere from your 10 to 30% back in points and you're going to get your shipping refunded. Let me rephrase. Actually, if you order this on LRP, you will get a hundred percent of your shipping cost refunded. So whether that's the $4 shipping or the $7 shipping, whatever you choose, the entire amount will come back to you um, in your cart to spend later. If you buy two of these, cause your LRP cart does have to be 50 points or more. If you get two of these, you're going to get 10 to 30% back in points as well. Like I'm at 30% right now. So if I buy two of these, that's 64, 30% of 64. Oh gosh, I need a kid who's better at math than me. Carly, what's 30% of 64? It's like 18 points, almost it's 19, like 19 points back. So I'd get 19 points plus my shipping. And I always choose the $7 shipping because it actually gets here a lot faster than the $4 shipping. So that would give me 26 points. So look at that. I've already got $26 worth of oils that I get to go spend next month on free oils. And 26 bucks is a lot because the vast majority of our oils um, are around the 20 to $30 range and a lot even under that. So I could even get, I can get two oils. I could get two bottles of orange, um, or two bottles of cedarwood. I think cedarwood's 13. Um, anyway, I can get, I could actually almost get another, I can get another bottle of eucalyptus cause I'm almost out. So hot dog, look at that. So go, um, get, uh, as many as you want on these oils, put them in your LRP cart, check out, and you will get those points back. Um, you can order them as a one-time order. That is not like it's disallowed. It is definitely allowed. Um, if you don't have your doTERRA account yet, oh my gosh, people, you're in for a treat. So if you don't have your doTERRA account today, go add two of these into your cart. When you check out, you get the free breeze. You have already received $40 in free oils in addition to the like $28 that you will save on the two on guards by getting them at wholesale prices instead of at retail prices. So like you will pay for your membership in the one order. Um, that's huge. And that is so awesome. So it's a great time to join. Um, if you do want to do that, you want to get your two on guards and then let's say you have a couple other things you've been eyeing, go put them in your cart now. And if you join today, and you have, hang on, I got to do math now again, 64 minus 100, 36. If you have $36 in oils that you want to go get, put them in your cart, get your cart up to 100 PV. And when you check out, you are going to then get 50 points put back in your account so that next month, you not only, next month you're going to have 50 points back to spend on other oils that you want to get. So it's a fantastic time to take advantage of the free BOGOs the free oils that you're going to get and get additional points that you can spend later. So like you're going to have a whole lot of oils for super, super cheap. Once you are done um, getting all your pogos. And then if you get your wholesale account today, getting those, whether you do the hundred PV or not, it doesn't matter. If you get your wholesale account today, then you can order the bogos for the rest of the week on your account. And you can also get those other oils for free and all at the wholesale prices. So um, anyway, I think that's all. 20 minutes is not bad. I could probably go on longer about both these oils because they're pretty fantastic. Now Lizzie's staring at us, photo bombing. Video bombing? Is it video bombing and not photo bombing? Is that what it is? All right. Do you like using Breathe, Lizzie? Is Breathe a good oil? Anything else you want to say? Did I miss anything? Where's my oil girls? Did you say 100 minus 64? Yes, 36. Oh, I thought you said 64 minus 100. No, I said what's 100 minus 64, so I knew how many more. I thought you said 64 minus 100. I'm like, what? Oh, that would be like. Negative something. Yeah. Negative 36. 
Okay, anything else I missed, Carly, about On Guard or Breathe? Do you? Um, they're awesome. They're awesome. That's really helpful. Thank you. Also, On Guard smells really good. On guard. Oh, good point. On Guard smells really good. Hello, it's orange and cinnamon and cassia and eucalyptus and rosemary. Well, it doesn't smell like, good. Breathe is really good in the morning when you wake up and stuff in the room. Like, oh. There you go. You have any brown bottle breathing like... Oh, Why don't you come over here and tell everybody that? I don't need to repeat what you say. You come tell them. Okay. And you can feel free to take off your heavy coat and stay a while. Nope. Anybody <sighs> want to hear it? Late. Nobody wants to hear it. Go away, Elizabeth. Uh, okay. On, right? Okay. Okay. So tell everybody what you just said. Breathe is really good. Lizzie, go away. Breathe is really good in the morning when you just wake up and you're like, oh, I have a stubby nose again. And you're like, and so you're like, hey, I got breathe. <sighs> so you just smell it directly out of the bottle and that helps. Well, that's what I do, yeah. That's what you do? Mm -mm. Cool. I can breathe again. So there you go. Advice from an 11-year-old. With breathe, I can breathe. You, with breathe, you can breathe. Just smell it directly out of the bottle in the mornings and help. Because I know, like, Maddie always does that. She wakes up with a stuffy nose almost every morning, and that really helps. Or you can just diffuse it, you know, like in your kitchen as you're getting um, breakfast going. Breathe, Plus guys. the peppermint and the smell of breathe kind of helps wake you up a little bit, too. It's kind of energizing. So, Lizzie, mm. go away. Oh, that smells so good. Elizabeth, go away with your carrots. Lizzie, go Mint. away. Minty. All right. Minty. That's right. And eucalyptus -y, right? Yep. And laurel leafy. Yeah, whatever. Adios. Okay. All right. Thank you, Carly. You're there welcome. you go. Advice from the Cure Girls. Maybe we should have our own show. Is I'm about, the best Cure Girl. You're the best Cure Girl? No, you're not. You guys and being nutritious. Nutritious. You know we have baby carrots. You don't need to peel big carrots. I like them better. She likes them better. Okay. Maddie, did I miss anything about On Guard and Bree? Oh, she didn't hear me. Okay, so she has nothing to add. <laughs> You're the best cure girl. That's all she has to add. All right. Okay, go away, Lizzie. All right, that's all for today. Go get your breeds and on guards. It's over at midnight tonight, midnight mountain time, 11.59 p.m. mountain time. So that's 1 a.m. hour time. So you got an extra hour. Yeah, that's right. So go get them tonight. Go order them. If you need help or you aren't sure how to order or you need us, contact whoever invited you to this group, whether that's me or Evelyn or Heather or Mary, whoever it is. Um, go ahead and reach out to them and find out what you need to do to get these in your hands and in your family's home so that you, my friends, can be healthy and be happy. All right. That's all. Happy Monday. Can't wait for tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'll, I'll come on live every day this week. Um, at least I'll try to, or one of us will try to, and talk about what the BOGO is and what you can use it for. So hope that was helpful, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Wait, there's